Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. As cinema becomes increasingly corporatized, therefore simplified to formulas of mainstream taste, it's harder than ever for an eccentric talent to bring his unique voice to the screen. Leos Carax is a visionary auteur to some, profligate perfectionist to others. His last two films, Polar X and the high-budget The Lovers on the Bridge, were not successful, so it took 13 years till Carax was able to raise the 6 million euros necessary to bring Holy Motors to the screen. I love Holy Motors. I'm not sure I fully understand it, but it grows more intriguing with every viewing. And how many films can you say that about? I offer some deconstruction here, but I could be completely off base. You tell me. Leos Carax creates an alternate Parisian universe where an actor spends his day being chauffeur-driven from place to place, playing a different character in each encounter, recorded by ubiquitous hidden cameras. After the death of cinema, Carax is saying, life in the digital age has become a vast reality TV studio. Carax casts Denis Lavant in all his films. Here you see him as the sewer-dwelling gnome who kidnaps Eva Mendes, dresses her in a burqa, then falls asleep in her arms, most of it while sporting an impressive boner. If there is a category for best sustained boner in a non-porn movie, this is a strong contender. Surreal images and movie references abound as the actor's roles range through homeless old lady, hitman, embittered father, motion capture performer, and in a gloriously uplifting sequence, an exuberant accordion player. For Levant, also an acrobat, magician, and mime, this is the role of a lifetime. Levant poignantly depicts the psychological toll on an actor that a life of creating illusion exacts as an old age of frustration, nostalgia, and regret approaches. Levant said in an interview that slipping in and out of multiple characters caused him to examine himself and the very nature of identity. Carax had hoped to reunite Levant with Juliette Binoche from The Lovers on the Bridge, but she turned him down. So he went in a different direction and cast iconic Australian singer Kylie Minogue. They co-wrote the song she sings in the ruins of the former saint maritain department store, a scenic element in The Lovers on the Bridge. The film is beautifully shot by Goddard protégé Caroline Champetier mastering digital photography in a film that decries the digital age. One of many sly smiles is a cemetery full of headstones that urge the bereaved to visit the deceased's website. Another is the ever-elegant Edith Scobe, the star of Franju's 1959 Eyes Without a Face. Fans will appreciate Carax's deft touch in the concluding shot that blends Franju with Pixar. There's a lot going on in this film, and it's more than just bonkers, as the trailer suggests. See what you think.